Hello everyone, it's Gamer, and welcome back to Homefront. Let's continue with the last talk, shall we? These photos came to me by way of a friend with contacts deep in the resistance. I think we all suspected. No. We knew that atrocities like this were happening, but... You need to let that wound heal. Don't worry about me. You be careful out there. We've already seen this cutscene, but we're still gonna let it play because I can't skip it, but that's okay. Connor. Good luck. You bring them home. I will. Doing a hell of a job. I wish I had more like you. <laughs> Up. Drive them safely. Hey guys, first insertion point's coming up. Alright, we're gonna drop you off, then Hopper will set up in the East Plaza. I'll take the band to the main gate and meet up with the guys from Gunnison. We're here. Come on, Jacobs. You're on sniper duty. Bring that rifle. The rest of us will be coming in hard after the second round. You two stay up top, keep us covered. We'll clear the way for Goliath and then hit the store together. Find that fuel caravan. Hope you're ready to put some hurt on these motherfuckers. Stay low, keep quiet. A lot's been cleared out, but there might be some inside. Just the two of them? More on the way. Hold back until the fireworks start. Wow, look at that. Already on reading mode. <clears throat> Alright. 6 3 2009. Kim, Kim Jong il's appointed successor. Kim Jong il, the eccentric and brutal leader of North Korea, has officially appointed his son, Kim Jong un, as his intended successor. Kim Jong un was born in North Korea and attended the International School of Bern, where he became friends with Americans attending the school and became fluent in we several Western languages. Kim Jong-un attended the school under a, pseudo a pseudonym and was described as shy. He was an avid skier and player of basketball and reportedly idolized American sports icon Michael Jordan. It is unclear when Kim Jong-un will take power, but reports of his father's failing health indicate that it may be sooner rather than later. That was it? No gunshots. We wait until Connor sets it off. That was it for the... thing? Really? Alright. That was short. Three sixteen twenty fourteen. Korean integration continues. After three years of intensive talks, the first steps towards integration of the economies and militaries of the two Korea Koreas have begun. <clears throat> the plan calls for an opening of the border between the two nations, a dismantling of the demilitarized zone, and an audit of the prisoners in North Korea's notorious labor camps. North Korea's new leader, Kim Jong-un, has been provocative in releasing prisoners from his father's system of labor camps and allowing officials from Amnesty International and the Red Cross to examine both, both the prisoners and their living conditions. What we found in those camps was both horrifying and encouraging, said Dr. Stephen. Haldeman, an American doctor working with the international organization Doctors Without Borders. The fact that so many, 
so many lived in such terrible conditions for so long is truly horrifying. But the fact that aggressive steps are being taken to fix the problem fills one with hope. Hall Demand is part of an international aid group working with the UN to provide relief to the bedraggled but recovering nation. Collectibles found 17 out of 61. Alrighty. There's a lot of newspapers in this game. Get back! If they see us here, this whole thing goes tits up. Don't trespass and keep out private property. You just kick the door like that. Here we go. Hmm. Targetdirect.com discount computers. One seventeen twenty thirteen. Kim Jong Un receives Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize. Sorry. North Korea's young president Kim Jong Un won the Nobel Prize. Nobel Peace Prize on Friday for his efforts to end the Korean War and bring a lasting peace to the Korean Peninsula. The result of more than a year of intensive negotiations, the governments of the two sister nations were finally able to carve out a peace treaty and have reportedly begun discussing reuniform sorry reunification under what has been described as a one nation, two system solution. Born in North Korea and educated in Switzerland, Jung Un cites his overseas education and exposure to the West as the driving force behind his desire to see the reconciliation of the two nations. North and South Korea have been divided for nearly 70 years, and for his efforts, Kim Jung Un is being hailed as the great unifier. Okay, Connor, bring it. Copy that. Rolling it in. Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> there, on your left. They're closing. Hopper, light the candle. Copy that. Launching white phosphorus. God. Jesus, I can smell him burning. Just, just put him out of their misery. Hopper, where's our second round? I'm working on it. Fuck it, we're coming in hot. All teams go. Let him burn. Oh, that's our teammate, my bad. Oh shit! Misfire! Misfire! Oh shit, it's coming right at us! We gotta head to the tower! 
got us killed. <laughs> Take shallow breaths through your nose. We got a few seconds before the phosphorus burns off enough to push on.
forgot how to crouch. Oh, I mean prone. The D? Alright. Why, why won't it let me... Oh. Do you want to go? Oh, she wants to go. Okay, that, no wonder. I was like, what the hell's going on? Did that break the game? God, how many bodies did we leave back there? They knew the risks. No! No one deserves to die like that. Where did you even get that shit? Stole it from the Koreans. They were gonna use it in case of an uprising. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. 2-13-2016, New Korea far from a democracy. American television has recently seen a wave of advertising from the New Korean office for the promotion of tourism. Advertisements depict futuristic cosmopolitan cities juxtaposed with idyllic farm life with the text, a pure expression of the ancient Korean culture. Posters, billboards, and bus advertisements feature themes of mystery, romance, and relaxation. To the name, to name a few of the more popular campaigns, based on reports from students and academics in the country. However, the advertisements are not showing the whole story. Hmm. Professors and students criti critical of the new resume have reported receiving threatening letters been mobbed by angry protesters and in some cases have seen their personal property vandalized. While the government has spoken out against these acts, it has not moved to protect these individuals. The Jong-un administration insists that there have been no systematic violations of civil, civil rights. This is clearly the work of a few extremists. Once a shining example of modern democracy in the region of East Asia, South Korea appears to have been completely engulfed by the radical ideology and ferment nationalism of its northern brother. After taking the country by seemingly peaceful means, Kim Jong-un has moved to squash all opposition to his new Chosun party. The party maintains a remarkable 81% majority in the Korean Senate and includes statesmen from both South and North Korea. Members of the opposition party and the Korean Senate have reported incidents similar to those reported by academics and students. In one high-profile incident, a mob attacked a senatorial vehicle as it toured a low-income area. The administration released a statement urging all Korean politicians to take appropriate measures to protect themselves. Listen, we gotta tag those tankers. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. KPA ahead. They haven't seen us yet. Walk softly. We'll take them by surprise. So this is where they've been storing the fuel. We just got bossed by a low flying helo. It'll be on top of you in seconds. Radio chatter says more on the way. APA roping in. Changing that. Well then, let me get my sniper rifle back, if that's the case.
Vehicle depot's on the other side of this door. We'll create a diversion. You have to tag one of the tankers before it leaves the lot. We can't fuck this up. Go, go, go! Oh, shit! Carter, the trucks are already moving! Can't one goddamn thing be easy! Move your ass, Jacobs! Get moving! You can work your way down from the right! Run! <laughs> I'm 
Come on! You did it! The beacon's in place! Signal broadcasting 5x5! Five five. Nice work! Give us a second, we'll meet you down there! Finish him off, Jacob! Under heavy fire! Get him off me! Shots on my position! Give me some covering fire! Let us go! Can you submit? Take them to the vessel! Mop up the stragglers! Over here, by the doors. I know. Connor, the cells in the parking lot are getting their asses handed to them. What's the escape plan? We're doubling back through the store. Just hold the line until we get there. Do we even have an escape plan? The I'll think of something. Aw, oh, crap. Let's move. This shotgun's good. I can't believe I died that quick, really? Well, there goes that other achievement. Fuck it. Shit, we need to get moving! I thought I smelled Korean barbecue. Jesus, Connor. Ah. Here. 
here. Cover us. Put some fire on those KPA. Jacob, use Goliath. Resistance suffered heavy losses. The mission was called a success. The courage and sacrifice of these men and women won't be forgotten. But our enemies have also marked this day. Throughout the occupation zone, the KPA has increased security and pressured civilians to identify resistance members. Citizens have disappeared in alarming numbers with reports of torture and execution. Some question the risks of rebellion. They fear reprisals, the boot to the door in the middle of the night. The price of our liberty has always been high. We must stand together now or not at all. This is the voice of freedom. I can't wait to tell Boone we pulled it off. I just want to take a shower. Shit! It's stuck! Move! Fuck! Help me! Oh, God! Oh, my God! No! No! They killed him no. all. Those motherfuckers. Here's your badge back, old friend. <laughs> I can't believe they did this. Oh, God. You hear that? We have to get out of Montrose. Are we really just gonna leave it like this? We have to go. I don't now. think we have a choice. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. Damn. Rihanna. Rihanna, we have to go. <laughs> oh, this is rough. Damn, he didn't deserve to go out like that. Damn, that sucks. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next episode of Hope Friday. Alright, see ya.